Using ductoscopy, we were able to identify cells leading up to a breast cancer. So that is cells lining the duct between the nipple and the breast cancer. We've looked at them, what the, uh, what's happening with the genes close to the nipple and also close to the tumour. And we've also collected cells from similar ducts, but on the opposite side of the breast from the tumour. So when we analysed these, we looked at uh, gene copy number and gene expression level, which are two different alterations that can occur in the development of cancer. And what we found is that gene expression level seems to occur before gene copy number changes. And then comparing across a number of patients with different kinds of breast cancer, we were able to identify genes that seem to be acting together in groups or pathways. And some of these were increased in the area of the tumour and some of them were reduced in the area of the tumour. And with the, within these alterations in the genes, we think are some of the earliest changes that can lead to breast cancer. So this is important because within the patterns that we identified were predictable alterations. So when we took a, a sample out, we could work out where it came from in the breast, whether it was close to the tumour or close to the nipple, by the pattern of changes we were seeing. So we think these patterns are important and within them are some, some of the earliest alterations that can lead to breast cancer. So that gives us tools that could one day maybe used to improve screening and breast cancer prevention and also help with therapeutic approaches to block some of these earliest alterations before cancer develops and starts to spread. Uh, I'm Susan Dome. I'm a pathologist here at the Princess Margaret Cancer Centre.